So I'm Kyung Jae Jang, uh, an assistant professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering. I joined the UNH in the fall of 2013, so it's been about six years. The invention was about an injectable hydrogel, meaning it is originally a solution which can be injected, and once injected, it becomes a gel. And we made it such that the resulting hydrogel has many large pores, large enough for human cells to migrate into it and grow in it. We achieved that by assembling and gluing uh, many very small sized gelatin hydrogel, uh, we call it microgels, uh, using an enzyme called transglutaminase, which is widely used in food industry as meat glue. Um, for this uh, process, we used very cheap and biocompatible and highly uh, readily accessible materials with minimal chemistry. That was our first invention. But the problem was the gluing process or curing process was too slow to be clinically relevant. So we came up with a second invention uh, which, in which we made an injectable porous hydrogel which cures very fast within a couple of minutes instead of half an hour. Um, we achieved that uh, by incorporating a UV light triggered curing of microgels in addition to the enzyme based to curing. The injectable hydrogels are a very important class of material in medicine and in biotechnology. Theoretically, uh, it can be applied to damaged human tissues and serve as temporary scaffolds to speed up the wound healing and tissue regeneration. But one of the major limitations of the most of the injectable hydrogels is a lack of pore. So even if it's applied to the damaged tissue, the neighboring cells of the host cannot migrate into the hydrogel because there is no pore to get into. So the significance of our invention is that we came up with a method to make an injectable and highly porous hydrogel and the method is extremely easy and it Im involves minimal chemistry and very cost effective and at the same time it's highly biofunctional and we have shown through many experiments that human cells and tissues love to interact with our hydrogel. As of now um, we have filed a provisional patent application on this technology and we have proven its usefulness at the cellular and tissue level and we're in the process of performing um, some animal studies to prove that it, it can be uh, used for wound healing uh, in vivo. This hydrogen formulation is biological so for this to go into the market, it has to go through the FDA approval, which requires uh, preclinical and clinical trials. That would be the next stage of the product development. So to me, a human body is a fascinating system, highly complex and uh, mysterious at many levels. And it is, it is really cool that um, as an engineer using the knowledge of material science and uh, engineering principles, I can make contributions to advancing the human health.